In this video, I want to introduce to you our Subli Glaze Coating Range and teach you how to use each of the coatings. If you want to sublimate on a product, the product needs to be coated with a sublimation coating so that your image or photo can transfer to the product. But what if you get that one special order product um, you want to sublimate on that is not available in the JG store? This is where the Subli Glaze Coatings come in hand. This is a normal piece of silver metal that is not coated with sublimation coating and I will use these different coatings to create different effects on the silver metal. Okay, this sample here, this is um, a clear coating so you can see the silver of the metal through your photo. So it, it creates a really nice effect with the silver in your photo. And then this one was done with a white coating so you can see your photo clear and in the back you can see the white of the coating and not the silver of the metal. And then this one is a very nice one, that's a new one. So it's a matte sublimation coating and it looks like a velvet kind of a look. So it's a very, very nice one. And I also did it on glass. So the glass is done with a translucent coating. So I print from the back and then you can see the front there in the front. And I used a normal photo frame that I bought in this store. So I took the glass out and I, and I coated it and then sublimate on it. It's a nice thin glass. So you can do it in A4 or whatever size frame you bought and then just coat it and create your nice photo. Okay, so for the, to create a clear look on your metal, you will use clear sublimation coating and the adhesion promoter. And that's for the silver metal look to come through your photo. Then if you want the white look on your photo, then you will use Adhesion Promoter, Clear Sublimation Coating and then the white base coating. If you want to create the velvet matte look, then you will use the Adhesion Promoter and matte sublimation coating. If you want to do glass, you're going to use three coatings. So it's going to be the adhesion promoter, clear sublimation coating and translucent coating. The first example we will do is a silver metal that we want to allow the, the color of the metal to show through our image or photo. So firstly, you need to protect your table. So I'm using a cardboard box to protect it. And then you have to apply adhesion promoter to your metal with a paper towel. So I'm going to shake the bottle a little bit. I'm just going to add some to our paper towel and then wipe your metal vertically all over and then we're going to wipe it horizontally all over then we're going to spray it with our clear sublimation coating you don't have to wait for the promoter to dry you can just spray it over that so shake your can for one minute before you use it. We're going to spray vertically first and then horizontally. Make sure you don't miss any spot. Okay, now horizontally. And then air dry for 10 minutes. Now we're going to use our oven to bake the metal. So I'm using an air fryer, you can use your home oven. And we're going to bake it for 160 degrees, 15 minutes. I'm going to cut out the image so long while we wait. And we're using sublimation paper. So you print with your sublimation printer on sublimation paper.
When time is up, you can remove the metal from the oven and let it cool down completely before you use it. When it's cooled down, we're going to add our print. So make sure your coated side of your metal is facing your print. In this case, my silver side is the coated side. And then use heat tape to secure it to your print. Okay, turn it around so that your print is facing up and then your press will be set to 190 degrees and 60 seconds. Time is up, remove the print. Use a cloth to remove the metal. Okay, so that's your silver look on your photo, so it's a very nice look. Next metal we're going to coat with a white coating. So that you can see what the photo will look like when the metal is white. Okay, so we're going to use the white base coating in this case. But firstly, we're going to use Addition Promoter and then white base coating, then clear sublimation coating over that. Use your cardboard box again and a paper towel to apply the Addition Promoter to your metal. Okay, so we're going to wipe, wipe it vertically first and then horizontally. Make sure you don't miss a spot. Now we're going to do the white base coating. So shake your can for one minute. And then... And then we're going to apply it vertically and then horizontally again. Air dry it for 5 minutes before you apply the clear sublimation coating. So when 5 minutes is up, shake your clear coating for 1 minute. Spray it vertically. All over and then horizontally again. Now we're going to bake it in the oven for 160 degrees, 15 minutes. My metal is done, so it's cooling down at the moment, so, so we're going to cut out our print. Okay, so make sure the coated side of your metal faces your print and secure it with heat tape. Let your print be on top and then press it for 190 degrees and 60 seconds. I remove the print so this is the metal that's white coated so look at the two differences in metals okay next I'm going to do a matte um, look on the photo so we're going to use matte sublimation coating and adhesion promoter so firstly we're going to apply the adhesion promoter again and then we're going to apply it evenly, especially with this one you need to do it very evenly and with a soft cloth. So you're going to do it vertically and then horizontally. And make sure there's no lines that the that adhesion promoter make on your metal. Then we're going to use matte sublimation coating. Just shake it for one minute. 
and then vertically and then horizontally again. The more you coat it with this, um, the more matte it will be. So for this one we're going to add more coating. So I'm going to wait a little bit and then spray it again. Okay, so this is enough. And then air dry for 10 minutes. Now we're going to put it in the oven. And it's going to be 160 degrees and about 15 minutes. When time is up, remove it from the oven and let it cool down completely. Okay, so this is the effect. And now we're gonna sublimate it. So make sure your coated side faces your print. Press it for 190 degrees, 60 seconds. When time is up, remove the print. And look at that stunning matte effect. It looks so silky. Nice velvet look. So now we're gonna do a gloss. So I've got a thin gloss here, and we're gonna use Addition Promoter again. Apply it horizontally and vertically. Now we're going to spray it with clear sublimation coating. So shake your can again for one minute. Apply it horizontally and vertically. We're going to bake it in the oven after the clear coating. And then we're going to apply the translucent coating. So firstly bake it. And it's going to be 160 degrees and about 15 minutes. When time is up, remove it from the oven. I'm just going to let it cool down for a few minutes before we apply the translucent coating. It doesn't have to be cooled down completely. Okay, now we're going to add the translucent coating. So we're going to do it vertically and horizontally again. Shake your can for one minute. Bake it again in the oven for 160 degrees, 13 to 15 minutes.
when time is up, remove it from the oven. So we're going to take our print so that the picture face up and the white coated side of your glass will face the print. Then you're going to press it for 190 degrees to 140 seconds. When time is up, remove the glass from the print. I'm going to ask you guys to please subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you can keep updated with all the new training videos and new products arriving in the future and how to press them. So also like our video and share it with your family and friends and thank you for watching this video.